Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And today is day 46. Um, I've been doing this 46 days. <laughs> I've just been out of the allotment and doing some streaming and uh, cutting stuff down and hope to do a bit of a program around that. And also today, Martin and I did a questions and answers, which we hope you will find very useful about what is really going on. And I tried to answer as concisely as I thought I, you know, I, I, I did my best to answer some of the questions, the burning questions that people are asking. So what do I want to talk about today, the awakening? Welcome to the awakening and taking you from the dark into the light. I think today I want to talk about staying in the moment. Um, why am I letting what could happen tomorrow destroy my happiness of today? You know, um, tomorrow something could happen around my life and um, it's kind of put a spanner in the works and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So why should I let that destroy the beautiful day I've got, the beautiful sunshine, the beautiful rehearsal I'm going to be doing with beautiful people and encounters in half an hour? Why should I let anything spoil that? And that's what staying in the moment is all about. So what I'm saying is, it's better to be in that moment. So, um, so the darkness is the mind, the mind telling me that tomorrow something's going to happen, tomorrow um, I'm going to have to deal with something that I don't want to deal with. I don't know. Who knows what's coming tomorrow? Who knows? You don't know anything anymore. It could be huge, it could be small, it could be nothing, the weather may see sun might shine, it may rain. <laughs> There's so much going on. So this practice of staying in the moment says the, the past is history, the future a mystery, the present a gift, unwrap it with glee. And let's have a look at what of course the miracle says about today. What is it today? What is of course the miracles today? I am entrusted with the gifts of love. And so that's exactly what I'm saying here. The gifts are being in the moment. What are you grateful for? So today I'm just grateful for moving on TV. I'm grateful that I could get up and in my mind I thought I'm going to do a question and answer for the public to use all the knowledge I've brought together and I've studied and I've learned. And Martin's going to sit there asking me specific questions questions that we talked about and we're going to put it out as a program or a few programs so i'm very grateful for that i'm very grateful for the knowledge i have i'm grateful to the amazing people that have given me this knowledge i'm grateful for zoom i'm grateful for the beautiful sunshine i'm grateful for the lovely lovely allotment i'm going to show you something now the dam <laughs> we inherited rhubarb we inherited rhubarb from the people that had the allotment before us. We have got this huge piece of land, guys. This huge, guess, guess what we're having for dessert tonight? <laughs> smoothie, rhubarb smoothie with yogurt or, or dairy-free cream. There's a point. Um, so what I'm saying is stay in the moment as much as you can today. And um, so, yeah, so um, what I'm trying to say is tomorrow, we don't know what's coming. Manana is manana, manana. You know, let's forget about tomorrow. Let's forget about domani. You know, let's forget about tomorrow. Um, today, I have rhubarb and I inherited this from the people who had the garden before us, the allotment. It's massive, guys, this allotment. We're going to create our own little space to sit in. I'm going to have an allotment party when we're ready, so you can come around and sit with us and meditate, obviously, nice and gently. We've got a shed that we're gonna try and renovate, and uh, so we can sit in there when it's too warm. Uh, probably gonna get a swing, you know, one of those swings, uh, so I can relax. We're going to plant 
vegetables and uh, we're going to try and put some flowers it's like a mound i'm going to put an angel on there like an angel this is our garden for the whole of the year it's huge we've got a beautiful garden i am so grateful and that's for a whole year until you know till june next year and who knows what will happen maybe i'll be able to buy build a house on there by this time next year <laughs> anyway these are the things you need to do it's like a course in miracles thank you thank you for the gifts the gifts that god love has given me and there's so many of them the cats the animals the beautiful cats they're their stupidity, their silliness, their fun, the laughter, um, a roof over your head, um, so much to be grateful for, the new awakening, the wonderful people that are going out there to change our world for the better. There's so much beautiful fruit. I just had some watermelon, cut it up and had some watermelon to hydrate after doing a little bit of work in the garden, just exhausted me. I'm not used to it. I did run a gardening project years ago. So the awakening today is taking you from the dark, which is worrying about tomorrow, worrying about what's going to happen uh, with my living conditions tomorrow. As I said, how am I going to do my interviews? Not sure. Um, what am I going to do? And being in the moment. Now the mind is very happy to destroy my evening. The mind and the ego are very happy to destroy this lovely rehearsal I've got planned with the beautiful people from Encounters. The mind is very happy to put a spanner in the work and destroy everything. So you have to say no. It's a quarter to five on Sunday, not 12 p.m. on Monday. Okay, that's it. Aliens could land tonight. The world could end tonight. A meteor could hit us. We don't know. <laughs> Who, how do we know? How, we don't know anything. But the whole point is you stay in the moment. I'm going to teach you a little exercise called touch assist. I learned this years ago to help you stay in the moment. Okay. So you put your feet down on the ground. I'm glad to see people are watching the awakening. And feel the energy as you're connected to that ground. Feel the roots coming out of your feet into that ground, okay? Close your eyes, we're protected by the angels, we're protected by love. And now I want you to say, feel this rhubarb. Thank you. And really feel the rhubarb. What does it feel like? It's cold. It's a very cold sense. Feels cold to the touch. Feels soft and cold. And then feel this jewelry. What does it feel like? Listen to the jewelry. Use all your senses, all your modalities. Mm. Move it around in your fingers, mold it around in your fingers. This all brings you into the moment, my darlings. It brings you into the moment. Okay. Feel my hand as I clap. Listen to the noise of the clapping. Shuffle your hands together. Feel your hands as they shuffle together. Feel the fingers. Hold your hands. Squeeze your hands together. Feel it. Feel as you squeeze your hands. What does it feel like? The skin. What does it smell like? Smells like earth because I've been in the garden, in the garden. Feel your watch. Listen to the watch. Does it tick? Someone just walked in. Listen. Someone just walked in. Listen to their footsteps. There's noise happening in the kitchen. Come back into the moment. There's a cat meowing. Peace the cat is meowing for food. Be in the moment at five, ten to five on the 14th of june 2020 that is all you have to do on a moment to moment basis come back into the moment do touch assist feel this table thank you feel this laptop thank you feel this cheek thank you 
Feel this frame, thank you. Feel this nose, thank you. Feel this hat, thank you. <laughs> Be in the moment. Don't let anything steal away the beauty of this moment. In this moment, it is quiet, the sun is shining. I am getting ready for an amazing rehearsal with encounters. Nothing else. Touch this phone. Feel the phone. Turn the phone on. If it goes on, listen. Listen to the buzz. Feel the vibration. This is NLP, New Linguistic Programming. Feel everything that's happening. So someone walk backwards in front, back behind me. Movement. Watch the movement of my body from side to side. You know, like the rhythm. In a way, you're going into a positive trance now. And you're feeling you're going into the moment. You're going into the moment. So that's it, really. I'm going to check. I've checked the Course in Miracles. Write down everything you're grateful for. But every moment the mind tries to throw you into tomorrow, next week, next year, which none of us know what is going to happen. We hope we do, but we're not sure 100%, none of us. Um, I want you to come back. Look at this beautiful earring, glittering. <laughs> Probably cost me about a fiver. I can't remember where I got this. I think it was in Turkey. But look at the colors, okay? Focus on that. Instead of thinking about what might happen tomorrow, there's no point robbing yourself of the beauty of the moment. Don't let anybody do that to you. I'm going to get the How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World cards and messages from heaven. I'd like to read those for you now. How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World cards, which I channeled after the therapeutic community, they're upside down. How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. You can get them from me or you can get them from Nashton, from the Positivity Center, Paul and Cecil. Sell them. Uh, and they'll be opening soon, I presume, so you'll be able to get them from them or from myself. Uh, okay, let's see what card we get today. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful sunshine out there. This is all part of the awakening. You can get allotments for practically zero money. <laughs> you, <know. laughs> for, you can get an allotment for £20 a year around here from your parish council. Don't go private. Go to your council, and we were very lucky. We got one so quickly, and it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's like we've got this massive garden to play with. It's going to take a while to get it together. It's going to take it a while and a lot of energy. And as I say, Lauren's not very energetic at the moment. And then a lot to fight and flight the last couple of days, as you know. And so coming back to the moment, let's see what the cards, what the cards say. How to stay sane in a crazy world and it's nature. <laughs> Don't do synchronicity, nature. Today I'm going to connect to some way to nature. So I'll be doing the garden, the allotment. Today I will spend a little time enjoying nature in whichever way I can. Guys, there were butterflies. There were beautiful orange butterflies. I'm hoping that um, we got some pictures of them, but we will when we, we went back. We were very careful not to destroy their habitat. We were able to keep part of it, the tree, the, the little branches that they were on, and while we managed to get ourselves to the shed, <laughs> to make a pathway to get to the shed. It was incredible. Got there and the most beautiful orange butterflies sitting there. That made me happy. Orange is my favorite color, as you know, orange and purple, moving on TV, as you can see on my logo and what I'm wearing, orange Charisse. Um, Sorry, Charisse, not orange, Charisse. Um, so these little butterflies and the bees were so good. Not one of them attacked us. It was amazing. They just let us get on with our work as if they knew. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about having a beautiful garden because I don't have one, but now I do. This year, for this year, I've got massive garden. You've all got to go around soon. Um, people were having a picnic, sitting together. 
you know so once it's all done i invite you some of you to come around maybe not all of you together but bit by bit and uh because it's so big as well you're welcome to share with us but we can talk about that or get your own <laughs> get your own actually get your own because it's nice to have something for a change that is mine and my husband's it's nice to have something that we can work on together and you know it's just a piece of land that we've rented and, you know uh anyway and it's not the ideal place i would live in because it's got noise from the traffic <laughs> anyway focus your mind on what you really want we are helping and it's giving you a beautiful lake with with a little garden focus your mind on what you really want we are helping this is messages from your loved ones they said just you just need to focus on what you want not what you don't want and they're going to help you so if you're watching this today i love you so much i hope this helped take you from the dark into the light i hope it helps me see when i watch my my program the awakenings it helps me to come into the moment because i can see it, it they are positive and they are taking you from the dark into the light they are honest and they are the truth and people are watching them i'm very grateful because if one person gains from this or two people as brad yates said you know it's incredible to be able to do the work to help another human being another beautiful person so there you go so please subscribe share like uh, contact me at moving on tv one at gmail.com yada yada if you want to do your phone program there's loads of stuff going out every day loads of different types of programs for different types of people new and new things coming all the time i will get the questions and answers thing up asap um, i'm going to do it as one hour uh, maybe an hour, an hour and a quarter and then i'm going to chunk it down to so people can pass these on to anybody they know that are struggling that are asking for example is it good to wear a mask or why or whatever you know all these questions that have popped up in the last few months a lot of common sense i hope a lot of research and a lot of gratitude to those that have been there to bring all of this up and to teach me and tonight i'm doing a news flash i'm going to do a news flash with um, mark Steele about this one two three four cinco <laughs> and uh yeah gee gods and little fishes if you know what i mean because i can't say it because i might get cut off so a lot of people are getting cut off because of censorship but let's stay in the moment let's stay in the beauty of the moment peace the cat is lying on the floor in the moment and i'm in the moment now i'm going to go and do encounters um there's 20 about 17 hours to go before i may have to confront something i don't want to confront let's put it that way i intend to enjoy every hour up until then please god by doing my work by living in the moment and by contributing to ending the cruelty of our world that uh, may or may not affect me tomorrow take care guys love you lots bye bye <laughs>